Good morning, students. Welcome back to occupation class. Um, today, I first want us to watch a short video to do a little bit of some dancing. Okay, so let me pause a moment. Sorry for that. Okay, so the first one over here, again, the first answer we say was D. Then the next was A. 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 Okay, that's the first four. So let's move on to the next six quickly over here. So which of the following is used to nail pieces of wood together? A, jigsaw. B, hammer. C, saw. D, pliers. So what do we think we need if we want to nail a piece of wood together? A, B. Yes, excellent answer. B, the hammer. The hammer will help us to nail our pieces of wood together. Okay, number six. Which of the following is not a procedure for repairing a broken table leg? Is it A, repair the tools? B, hammer the nails into the damaged area? C, Use a wrench to tighten the nuts and on the damaged area. And D, check the strength of the repair table. So which one is not a procedure? For repairing a broken table leg. A, B, C, or D. Hmm, this one a little bit tricky. What do we think? C. C. Excellent. C. We do not use a wrench to tighten nuts. No, we have to use a hammer and nails to fix the broken area. Excellent answer there. Thank you very much. And for number seven, which of the following is a solution? to the problem of loose screws on a back rest. So at the back of your chair is loose, what is the problem? So what can we do? A, use sandpaper to scrub the tip of the screws. B, use adhesive product to stick the screws to the back rest. C, use the screwdriver to tighten up the screws. And D, use pliers to cut off the screws. Which one can we do to fix it? The broken backrest of the chair. A, B, C, or D? C. C, yes, excellent. We can use a <laughs> screwdriver. I actually have one somewhere. We can use a screwdriver to tighten the screws. Very good. Last three here. Let's look at number eight now. Whose duty is the maintenance of equipment and appliances? A, all family members. B, elder relatives. C, all children. D, parents. So who is responsible for taking care and maintaining equipment and appliances? A, B, C, or D? What do you think? D. D. Hmm. Are you sure? Are you sure? We have one answer for D so far. Well, 
we can say D, yes, we can say that our parents are responsible. But then I can also ask you the question, what is wrong with your hands? Can you not maybe do it? Hmm? So some might say D for the parents. It is correct in some instances, yes. But the correct answer I'm looking for is actually all family members can help to maintain. Sometimes we think it's only our parents' responsibility, but we can help. We don't always have to do the work, but we can help by bringing them the hammer or packing away the tools. There are ways we can help. So all family members can be responsible for maintaining the appliances and equipment. Okay. Number nine, which of the following tools is appropriate for cutting a small piece of wood for replacing a small table or oh, sorry, repairing? So what can we use to cut a small piece of wood? A, a jigsaw, B, saw, C, cutter, D, pliers. Which one do you think? A, B, C, or D? A, B. A, or B. This one is not 100% clear, so I will give you both answers. Excellent, A and B. A jigsaw can be used because it can cut small pieces, but you can also cut small pieces with a normal saw. So either A or B, I will give you the correct answer. Okay. And then the last one. What is a benefit of repairing appliances? A, gain more income. B, save family's expenses. C, have more appliances. D, get higher quality appliances. Hmm, what do we think? Is it A, B, C, or D? Hmm. What is a big benefit? of repairing appliances. B. B, are you sure? No. <laughs> no, okay. Uh, I'll put you out of your misery. B is the correct answer. Excellent, excellent Jasmine, thank you very much. It is very beneficial to help save some money. And that money we can use. Oh no, I got A. You got A. Well, you can. You can if you have a, a, a shop. So let's say you want to sell broken appliances that you repair. So you can make money for a repair shop. If you have a repair shop, you can gain more money. But this is in our household. So in the household, we're not going to make a lot more money from repairing. We're rather going to save some. So in that, for that instance, B will be the correct one. But if you make one mistake, it's not a problem. You know, it's not a problem. But please make sure if you have not sent this through to us to send it through. I'm not sure uh, of everyone that has not sent it, but I do have some of them already. So please, everyone send through your tests. Okay, now, now we finished with that. I wanted us to carry on with some design and technology. And today, we go, we, okay, this is what we looked at last time, the meaning of technology, how technology works today. And what I wanna focus on today is evolution of technology. Now the evolution of technology, we watched a short video last time. 
But today I want to play a guessing game with you. We're going to play a guessing game. So this game works as follows. We have to guess the year of invention. For example, what year was the light bulb invented? Now my guess is in 1857, very long time ago. But the correct answer is 1879. So for this, Next couple of questions. You can't have any wrong answer. You can only guess. You can only guess. So what I want you guys to do is guess the year of the invention. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Are you sure? Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So let's start the game and let's see how close we can get so the first one is the pencil the pencil so i want you guys to guess a year when the pencil was made in which year do you think the pencil was made <clears throat> you can guess any year But I'll say the years you have to guess is between 1700 and 2000. So you can guess any year. So anyone, give me a guess. Let's see. Oh. Who wants to take a guess? Remember, there is no wrong answer. It's only a guess. So the chances of guessing the correct date is almost zero. But I just want to see when you think it was made. So give me a date. Which date do we think? Hmm. 1850. 1850, like this. Okay, excellent. Uh, let's change the color. Because it's the middle, I don't know. No, it's hundred percent. Let's see. Let's see. What is the year? Tan -tan -tan. Wa fifteen sixty four. Oh, this is very old. Sorry. So this is wrong. Fifteen sixty four. Okay, so that is a very good guess. But it's still very old, the pencil. Look at how long ago it was invented. More than 400 years ago. So the pencil has a long history that dates back to 1564. But it wasn't mass produced until 19. So you see the 19 over here. And this one is very close. So it's an excellent guess. That was another big step forward. For one, the pencil replaced the slate and chalk. A lightweight tool, and it's no doubt made it easier to give homework. <laughs> made life a little bit e easier for teachers, but more difficult for students. The next one is the magic lantern. So this is in our classes, we have the projector that we sometimes use to shine or show a picture on the board. Now, in the olden days, they used the magic lantern to do the same thing. So what year do you think the magic lantern was made? Hmm. What year do we think? Who's going to guess? Who's going to guess? Hmm. 
Hmm. You can guess any year. More than 1,000 or any. The, it, these following answers will be between the year 1700 and the year 2000. So this is our range. So Ooh. in between those two numbers, you can guess any uh, date. 1,968. 9, uh, 1,968. Okay, very good. Thank you. Let's see when the magic lantern was invented. Oh, you were just a little bit off with 98 years, but still a very good guess. Thank you very much. You will see something interesting. With the next couple of ones, we will have the overhead projector, the newer version of this one, okay? So remember that date, you might be able to use it for a next guess, but that's still a very good guess. Thank you very much, Leon, for giving us that answer. Let's quickly read what the magic lantern was. This was the first attempt at the projector. The magic lantern projected images printed on glass plates onto walls. By the end of World War I, Chicago public schools had about 8,000 lantern slides, meaning 8,000 pictures that they can show. You can see how stuff has been moving or how different it was in the past. The next one is the typewriter. Now the typewriter is the old version of the keyboard. So if you look at your, if you look at your cell phone, your cell phone has a keyboard as well. Now the typewriter was the first invention of the keyboard. What year would you guess it was made? What year? 1,863. Give me one more. Hey, Anyone else? Anyone else want to guess? 1,873. One eight seven three. Okay, so we have two guesses here. Let's see. I think one might be very close. Let's have a look. The typewriter was invented in which year? Tam -tar -tar. 1973. Yay! Congratulations, Tantan. Very good guess on the dot. 1973. Wow, that is so long ago. It's more than two, uh, more than 150 years ago, a long time ago. So Christopher L. Scholes first introduced the typewriter in 1873. His version only had capital letters, but the end of the 1980s, others had models with upper and lower case letters. Excellent. Well done so far, you guys. I like these guesses. They are very good. So the next one we have is the overhead projector. So this is the one we use in school. But this one is still quite old. So when do you think it was invented? Who can tell me? When do you think it was invented? Anyone want to take a guess? Anyone? Or must I call someone to take a guess for mm, us? 1,800. 
1860. Okay, anyone else want to guess? Let's have another one. Let's get a couple. Porsche, how about you? Do you want to guess? Hello, Porsche. Can you hear me? Okay, no one else wants to guess. Okay, that's fine. Then we carry on and let's see what the answer is. Oh, the 1930s. 1930s. So as we see, we are moving closer and closer to our current time. But thank you for the guess, Leon. It is a little bit off, but that's no problem because this is only a guessing game. So let's read what they say about the overhead projector. The overhead projector allowed teachers to write specific points on reusable transparency sheets while facing the class, as opposed to turning their back to the class when writing on the blackboard. So this is also the evolution of the classroom and how teachers and students had class in the past. Okay, overhead projector, very interesting. We have two more to go. The next is the ballpoint pen. Ballpoint pen, which year do you think it was invented? Who can tell me? Who wants to take a guess? When was it invented? One thousand eight hundred eighty-eight. One thousand eight hundred and eighty-eight. Okay, let's have a look. Nineteen forties was it invented, but it says here it was originally invented in nineteen. Oh, 1888. So I would say this answer is also an excellent answer. Thank you very much. But the ballpoint pen was put aside in the classroom and life in general until 1940s. So it was invented in 1980, 1888, but it was only used in 1940. So even though it was invented only 68 years or 58 years after it was invented, it was used. Very interesting that for so long, no one used it. And the last one for today is the internet. When do you think the internet was invented or discovered? Let's take a guess. Mm. Who wants to take a guess? Mm. 1,900. 900. 900. 90. 1990, 1, let's see, pam, 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 Yes, excellent, excellent. Very good, you guys, excellent guess. A World Wide Web, which is the internet, was invented in 1990 and released in 1991. The internet wasn't available to general public until 1993. At that time, all connections were dial up. That made it slow since it used the telephone line and couldn't handle video. So that is a bit of the invention of the classroom. And obviously teachers were able to use the internet to explain and to show different examples and ideas to students. Okay, 
So that was the evolution of technology in the classroom. Something a little bit different for today, because I didn't want to just keep doing the same thing. We have to try and make the class a little bit more interesting. Okay, so because there was no one to beat me in rock, paper, scissors, I have to give you another opportunity because one opportunity is not enough. So let's see who can beat me now after we had a short break. Okay. <clears throat> Make sure we are nice and loose and we are warmed up so that we can win. Are we ready? Remember, if you can't turn on your camera, you can send your answer in the chat. Okay. Hello, guys. Welcome to my Minecraft. No, no, no. No Minecraft here. Only uh, rock, paper, scissors. Okay, are we ready? Hello, guys. Are we steady? Here we go. Oh, one, two, three. Shoot. Hey, Damien, Bosch. Leo, no, I got dropped again. Mm -hmm. My first time of the week. Yes, congratulations. Well done to you guys, to Leon, to Porsche, and to Nam Nyang for beating the teacher. Excellent, excellent. Okay, guys, thank you guys. Thank you guys for coming to the class today and for being here. I will see you guys in the afternoon for Yelp class. So have a good afternoon, have something nice to eat and drink lots of water. See you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hello, guys. Welcome to my mic.